All right, it's David here to talk to you about what you do when you bought, bring home a vintage trailer and some of the things you go through. I've already talked about an overview of going around the outside. I showed you my toolkit of what I use to be able to repair things. Today, I'm gonna to show you about propane, what I do in propane. So the first thing I do in propane is start up here with my tanks. So I'm gonna look first at the date on these tanks. And let's see. Where is the date on these? Oh, right here, sorry. Two of 96, so February of 1996. These are old tanks, and this is very standard to end up with old tanks. So if it's more than, I think 12 year, 12 or 14 years old, I can't remember what the regulations are. I think it's 12 years old. They will not um, allow you to fill these at most fill stations unless someone puts a new um, valve on right here. But anyway, so what we do is we just go run to Home Depot or Walmart and grab the new tanks. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, this is old. <laughs> and, number, and number two, come over here, Marin, look at the, the connector on these goes into the tank. And those tend to leak a lot easier than the ones that go around the tank. So, and then this regulator is pretty old also. So I, what I do is I'll change the propane tanks out with the refillable ones from Home Depot and get a new regulator. So here's the new regulator that I have. I get these from Amazon for, I don't know, they're probably um, 50, 40, $50. So this is a auto changeover high capacity two stage regulator. And then I also had to order the hoses that come off each side for this. So this is just is a good peace of mind to have a good regulator. Um, so that you don't have to worry about propane leaking or something. And you'll notice these go around the outside of the tank instead of inside. I mean, they do have the inside, but they, they go around the outside and they're easy to hand screw on and off and uh, they're just more reliable. So just to rephrase or refresh, re restate, <laughs> uh, check the date on the propane tanks. Um, Make sure the regulator is a newer regulator. Change out the propane tanks if you need to and get a new regulator. And then you'll attach it to this the hose down there. The other thing I do is I turn the propane on while I'm out here working. This is the first thing I do actually. Turn the propane on and then I let it sit for a while. And then I've got a pretty good smeller. And so I'll smell either here or inside and I'll have the kids or Marilyn come in and smell and see if they smell any propane and make sure nothing's leaking. And usually, um, usually when propane is leaking, um, when you can smell it out here, it's this connector that's not working right. So that's the next thing I do is I have my leak detector uh, stuff, <laughs> liquid, um, and I use it and I'll put it on every connection to see if it's leaking. What it'll do, it's not these little bubbles. These little bubbles come from in here. It'll make bigger bubbles if it's leaking and this looks okay here by the way if you don't you can get this at home depot or lowe's if you um, don't want to just go buy it all it is is equal parts of dawn dish soap or whatever dish soap you use and water so if it's a cup or a half a cup of dish soap and a half a cup of water equal parts to make your own and it works great all right so let's go inside so we've had this on we know we need to change out the regulator and the propane and I'll run through everything again once I've done that. Um, so I'm not gonna put those on right now, but let me just show you what we do inside now to test the propane. Okay, come in, smell a little bit. <laughs> I don't smell any propane. I've had it on for a little while, but before I light anything up, I'm not gonna light it up. I'm gonna test all the fittings, okay? So I'll start with the stove. So most of these stoves just come right up and off or forward. Some of them you have to pull forward and up. This one just came straight up. And then what you have in here is a couple of, um, this is where the gas comes in. So I'm gonna test this fitting right here. And you have to let it sit for a second some take because the leaks sometimes are really slow. Nope, no bubble there. And again, remember, it's not these little bubbles. It's the big bubble. So I'm just smelling it while I'm at it to see if you smell anything. Do you see anything, Marilyn? Mm -mm. Any... So if there's propane coming through these and leaking, mm -hmm. it'll 
yeah. um, make a bubble. It'll make a big bubble and pop. And so what you have to do is tighten them and see if that works. That's usually all I've had to do is tighten them and I've been okay. Um, these, these lamps here and there, there's no way really to test the fittings on them. So I just um, smell around them to see how they are. Then the heater is the other thing. The heater, this has uh, a connector right here that comes up through the floor. Let me check it. I like to put plenty of stuff on there. And nope, I don't see any coming out, any propane leaking there. And then I'll check the connector here where it goes into the into the heater in this case. Again, little bubbles are fine. Big bubbles are not. And that looks fine. We need to do this on one that's um Looking a little bit. Like yeah. Yeah, I could show bu bu what a bubble looks like. Um, but it looks like we're good on these. So now, make sure you, so you'll just need to check all the fittings you can and um, to make sure they're, um, they're okay. Once you've gone through all the fittings, and I'm going to go ahead and light stuff up and test it out. Now, one thing when you're lighting these up, I think I mentioned this in another video is there's air if you just put new tanks on sorry there's air in the lines and it takes a while for the air to get especially into the heater to get it to go so i'm going to start on gas right rear okay so this one had still gas in the lines so i'm just going to light these all up make sure that they work okay okay we're good now the flames are big on these. Sometimes, I can't test this now, sometimes the this part here whew, screws on and off and if the flames are too big, it means that's loose. So you just tighten it. And uh, that sometimes helps. Warm. <laughs> All right, let me check this lamp over here. These lamps I mentioned before, they always scare me a little bit, but that one's not moving. Oh, push in to go on. There we go. So you just turn it on, light it, and there you go. So it seems to work okay. I am always a little hesitant on these. Let's check this one up here really quick. And these are those Coleman mantles that you can buy for Coleman uh, lamps. Oh, just beautiful. the standard mantles. Love it. <laughs> they are pretty, and they, by the way, they put off good heat in the winter. Okay, that one's good. Those ones are very, look very good. All right, heater. So on a heater, it's got a pilot light. So I'm gonna, oh, that's why it was, okay. Okay, it was on, <laughs> which is not good, but so I'm gonna turn it to off. I'm gonna turn it to pilot. Let me, it just stopped. <sighs> I didn't. Oh, no, sorry. I thought my email stopped it. That's why I was, okay. So I'm gonna open this up because the pilot light's in here. So I'm gonna push and hold it for, I don't know, 20 seconds. I'm just going to see. So, can you see over here, Mary? The, yeah. It's, see how it's blowing the, blowing the, uh, my flame? It's because there's air coming out of there. That means there's not air in the lines, or there's too much air in the lines. So, I'm just going to give it a second. Okay. All right. Sometimes these heaters take a long time to get the propane in the line. You can see it though, it's starting to go. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. Blew out again. Anyway, the point is <laughs> press and hold the pilot until you get all that air out of there. And then you get, there we go. Then you get the flame, pilot flame going. Like I said, it can take a while. Then you'll hold it for another 30 seconds Turn it on and let it run for a little while to keep an eye on it. So what I'll do is I'll let like this heater run while I'm working on some other things. Okay, all right. So it would go on and um, I just don't have the time right now, but um, that would go on and I would let it run for a little while just to see how it's going. Let's check the oven really quick. Some ovens have pilot lights. I mentioned that before, this one does not because it doesn't say pilot. So I'm just going to turn it on and light it in the back there. And it lit. 
you can see the pilot lights back in there. Yeah, there you go. And then what I'll do is I'll turn it up to get it to turn on. And sometimes I can't get these to turn on. Oh, there it goes. It lit. So what I'll do is I'll just let this run for a little while also while I'm in here. In the summer, it makes it kind of hot, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. One thing I'll note too is if, um, if these do not, um, if they're dirty inside, they'll stink. So I like to wipe them out before I light them up. Okay, can you show one more time where you light the pilot? Yeah, so it's always in the back. It's actually lit back there. Yeah. See it right there? Because so this must have a pilot light. Let's see. I'll just so it's right back in here. Mm -hmm. Oops. So is where the pilot light is at. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. So the other, um, yeah. Let me sit down here really quick. The other, the other things you might have on your um, uh, vintage trailer that you need to test from the propane standpoint is the water heater. Uh, which is nice to have hot water. Don't light it until um, it's full of water, okay? And also there's a tube going into the water heater or the propane where the flame shoots out. Make sure that's really clean inside. I had one that had uh, bees nests or wasp nests in there. And so the flame couldn't make it all the way and the flame came out of the water heater. So blow that out with your mouth or with some air. Just blow the tube out from the propane in out to where the flame goes into the water heater. Um, also, you might have a fridge. This one doesn't have a fridge that runs off propane. So you want to test it also. And make sure everything is level when you test propane so that the flames don't tilt too much and come out of their protective area and start a fire. So that's propane. Hope that's helpful. Next video, we'll do either electric or water. Thanks. Okay, one other thing I forgot to tell you <laughs> with regard to propane and electric, and I'm going to forget little things, but I'll add them onto these videos. Remember, is I always get a um, combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. So I get these on uh, Amazon. I think they're 24 each. You can see Kitty part number 2210-26043. Um, they test both. Um, carbon monoxide and smoke. So that help, um, is some peace of mind for me to install one of these in here. You've got to keep it a little away from the stove because you're going to always be setting it off, but uh, just put it somewhere in a logical place up in the top of your trailer. So don't forget your smoke alarm, carbon monoxide combo, and also we also get a fire extinguisher just in case. So I hope that's helpful. Safety is always important as you're working with these old vintage trailers. Thanks.